sweater, never got a sweater. Sweater, never got a sweater. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, to movie time with your host, Chris Chaos. Uh, this week, I wanted to talk about a series of movies which are not connected by any way besides their creators, directors, writers, actors. Um, this is a series of movies that I only, I didn't know that the group of guys had a name for themselves, right? I didn't know that they were called the Broken Lizards, but I just found out because they were on a pod, some of them, three of them, were on a podcast uh, with Andrew Santino called Whiskey Ginger with Andrew Santino. Um, so they made movies like Beer Fest, which is Laugh Out Loud Funny. Slamming Salmon, laugh out loud, funny. What's another one? I, I haven't seen Super Troopers, uh, which is crazy. Um, <sighs> damn, there's, uh, I feel like there was another movie I saw them in. Slamming Salmon. I don't know, but they have. Everybody knows them, right? They have a show called Tacoma FD. Uh, they made a couple other movies, and they're just funny. And, undeniable and it's like they're down to earth you know what i mean that you could tell they're not like big timers it's like uh it's like adam sandler and his boys you know what i'm saying but even more and it's also like the movies they make are kind of like uh what national lampoon wishes it could be in my opinion that might be controversial and i might be wrong i don't know it's adam code thing per se all right, so Broken Lizard is an American comedy troupe that comprises Jay Chen, Jurassic Carr, Kevin Heffernan, Steve Lim, Lemmy, Paul Solter, and Eric Stolhansky. They collaborate on the screenwriting, acting, and productions of their film. They do, every, they do everything, with uh, Shan Draskar and Heffernan being the primary directors. The team, however, does not have any single leader and they work collaboratively when choosing material and writing projects. So I don't know what they look like, those two guys that are the, but I might put pictures of them something like that. I guess I'll release this on Friday. I'm not going to work on this tomorrow. Um, it is what it is. This could be the every other week, Friday. I mean, in the summertime, I'll have more time to catch up. All right, anyway, history. The form grouped. The group formed at Colgate University in 1989, the year I was born. 1989, that began a storm. 1989, Chris Chaos began to take over time. I said 1989, 1989, when Jay Chand Jurassic Carr was asked by a friend and fellow student, Ira List, to put together a comedy show. Shan Jurassic Carr agreed and assembled a sketch comedy troupe, which included all the names of those guys. They were all members of the Beta Theta Pi fraternity. The team performed a combination of live stage sketches and short videos under the name Charred Goosebeak. Charred Goosebeak continues to exist at Colgate to this day. Pretty cool. After graduation, the members reunited in New York City and spent the next few years performing at various clubs, mostly Greenwich Village Mainstay, the duplex under the name Broken Lizard. The group offered various explanations of the origin of this name over the years, ranging from a euphemism of loss of virility to a tribute to and dress cars, pet allergies. Um, most recently, the members admitted that Chan, Chan Racicar simply made up the name off the top of his head uh, when he had their first flyer printed. Another possible name that was discarded was Chocolate Speedo. I gotta look up how to say this name. You might may be able to hear I'm a little congested. 
definitely allergy season. Spring, beautiful. Just like the one. I mean, no, I'm not kidding. But I am kidding. It, I mean, it, 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 I don't know. Um, all right, let's see. I'm going to use Google for this one. Not Duck, Duck, Blue. <clears throat> Here it is. Pronunciation. Sorry for the dead air. Ain't no such thing as dead air. Sounds like Chandru Saker. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Slow. Chandra Saker. Chandra Saker. Chandra Saker. Chandra Saker. Uh, Chandra Saker. Uh, Chandra Saker. Uh, all right. Uh, they spent the next few years performing at clubs, and I'm going to forget already how to pronounce it. Chandra Saker. Uh, Chandra Saker. Its membership dwindled to the five current performers. By the mid-90s, the group's interest shifted away from live material as they became more interested in film content. They wrote and acted in Dante's Levels of Hell, a series of interstitial shorts for the Comedy Central's Is This On feature. At this time, the Broken Lizard members also made their first foray into long-form film. Shooting the 30 minute 16 millimeter project, the tinfoil monkey agenda, an absurdist media spoof that earned them a trip to the Fort Lauderdale Film Festival and cemented in the group's minds that they should be creating full Tulane feature films. Damn, that's pretty badass. Like, I'm imagining, like, imagining them, like, finding out, like, oh, fuck, and then they're just, like, working at it. The group put together the because these aren't guys that were like from famous families. It doesn't seem like the group put together the script for their next feature and first wide release movie, Super Troopers. The film, which portrays rural highway patrolmen as regular guys desperate to make their jobs entertainment, entertaining, was shot in two thousand and was also invited to Sundance, where raucous screenings earnest earned the film. I don't know how to say that either. Rakus? Rakaus? Play against Rakaus. Rakus? Rakus? Rakus. Rakus. What does that mean? Look up what it means. Sorry for the dead air. Like I said, there's never dead air. Rockers, 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 rockers. Bro, why you gotta be so difficult? Why you gotta be so long? Why you gotta be so good? Rockers. I'm sure I spelled it wrong. Definition. Rough sounding and harsh. Boisterous and disorderly. So harsh. Okay. Um. Well, that earned them a distribution deal from Fox Searchlight Pictures, a unit of 20th Century Fox. The movie was released in February of 2002 and only enjoyed moderate theatrical success, but it eventually developed a cult following. Yeah, back then, man, you were able to like make a lot of money on the back end with uh, DVDs and VHSs and shit. Fox Searchlight sponsored and distributed the group's next feature, 2004's Club Dread, a parody of slasher films that takes place 
at an idyllic tropical resort after the Chandrasekhar. I already fucking forgot, man. Chandrasekhar. Let's go back. Let's get another. I need another one. Chandra Saker. In 2012. No, wait, wait. After. Well, Chandra Saker directed the Dukes of Hazard for Warner Bros. Broken Lizard was offered a deal with the studio. This relationship resulted in Broken Lizard's third feature, Beer Fest, which came out in 06. Okay, now I gotta look up which one Chandra Saker is. Jay Chandrasekhar. Is that how you say it? Jay Chandrasekhar. Jay Chandrasekhar. Jay Chandrasekhar. I ain't never been a hater. Cool. So I, I mean, he. This is cool. What, what is it? I mean, he looks like uh, an American, but I don't know his heritage or his. I don't know what to call it. He looks like you know, not native, <laughs> wrong Indian. I'm thinking Indian. He looks like. Uh, interesting. In fact, he is the genie because in the in the when they were doing the interview with with John with uh, Andrew Santino, uh, on he has a cousin that's also an actor, Andrew Santino, and, and they were like joking. He was talking about how he pranked one of the other ones, and they're like, "Oh, so you're the you're the mastermind?" Yeah, he really is. Damn. Whoa, and then his his uh, cousin is from Texas, San Antonio, who plays on Heroes. He was on Heroes. Nice. Very interesting, ladies and gentlemen, in my opinion. All right, sorry. Um, let me go back to where I was. Uh, about two brothers who discover an underground Oktoberfest beer drinking Olympics and assemble a team to compete. Yeah, that one's cool. Because, like, uh, so that one, uh, like the grandpa dies and his last wish is they go get something from Germany and the German beer fest and they go and compete and it's, it's hilarious. It's very fucking good. Classic movie. Uh, in late May twenty. 10, Broken Lizard had completed their fourth feature, The Slammin' Salmon, about a group of waiters who are terrorized over the course of a busy night by their unstable boss, played by Michael Clark Duncan. Heffernan directed The Slammin' Salmon. And I gotta see which one is Heffernan. Kevin Heffernan. So they take turns directing it. Copy and paste. Never to waste. Alright, so that's the dude who died in um he's the the heavier set fellow. Alright, that's cool. That's interesting. Cause the role he played in that movie too, so that's interesting because he had a big role and so for him to direct it, that must have been tough. <coughs> Club Dread. So apparently Club Dread like bombed. Slam and Salmon. Yeah, that one was cool. That one was funny. Um and it and it was a ba it was like a good balance of uh I feel like Super Troopers mainly was dudes, I guess. I don't know. I didn't I haven't I need to watch that one. 
But on Slam and Salmon, you know, you got female waitresses too, so it's like a different, and it kind of goes, it's kind of like waiting with Ryan Reynolds, but a little bit uh, kind of realistic. It was pretty tight. Um, let's see. Not realistic at all. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about, but it's different. It's very different. It's similar. Those kind of movies are cool because there's not a lot of them that go into the waiting business. Um, so then eventually they did Super Troopers 2. Um, they did a bunch of movies. So the first movie was Puddle Cruiser in 96, then Super Troopers, Club Dread, Dukes of Hazard. Oh, there's cameos by each of them. I got to go back and watch that one. Beer Fest, Slam and Salmon. Broken Lizard stands up. I need to watch that. Freeloaders. There's cameos by them. Baby Makers, produced by Chan Descar. Uh, Super Trooper Suit. And then they just dropped Quasi, which I would like to watch. But I forgot when it's based on like medieval times or some shit. But it's dope. Shout out to those guys, man. Those guys are so cool. One day I want me, I want me and my friends to be like those guys. We'll be the Broken Lizard. No, that's that's what you guys are. We'll be the um exploded that um the chopped up snake. I don't know. See y'all next time at the movies. Or the 